for either being a part of our delivery team or for our retail partners for assembling our product in the home of a customer. The following video will show you the steps necessary to successfully deliver and assemble the new Ease by Sealy Adjustable Base. Before leaving the warehouse, you will need to complete the pre-delivery checklist. To begin, lift the carton top off the box to reveal the bottom of the foundation. To avoid damage, always open the carton while the base is in a flat position. Remove the binding straps and packing materials, making sure not to puncture the box with any sharp objects. Check to make sure that all the parts are included. The connecting strap and mattress retainer bar are attached to the base for shipping purposes. Once in the customer's home, carefully remove from base and set aside. Once the warehouse checklist is complete, place the lid back on the outer carton and secure for delivery, always keeping the foundation in a flat position during transportation. Once you arrive at the customer's home, bring the base to the room where the base will be assembled. Remove and dispose of all cardboard and plastic wrap. Remove the parts from the parts box, including the connecting strap and retainer bar, and set them aside. Headboard brackets are sold separately. If the customer has elected to purchase a headboard, you'll need them. Locate the backup battery box and install two 9-volt batteries which are not included. You will use the battery backup box while making all necessary connections, but we recommend the customer store it in a separate place after use. Connected to the control box's power port is the input power cord. Uncoil from the control box and plug into the power supply. Place the power supply on the ground and extend from the base, making sure the cord does not obstruct any adjustable base mechanisms. Make sure that the power supply and all attached cords are directed towards your customer's surge protector. Use both men to carefully flip the base over and onto its legs. Do not drag it across the floor and be careful not to rest the frame on its side. Too much pressure may damage the legs. Once the base is positioned right side up, plug the power core in the grounded electrical outlet. For optimal safety, a surge protector should be used but is not provided. The remote arrives already paired to the adjustable base. Before you test the base, Ensure that the three provided AAA batteries are correctly installed in the remote. Test remote functions to verify proper setup. Raise the head, raise the foot, and return the base to flat position. To manually pair the remote, locate the battery backup box and press the round black button twice. A white light underneath the button will illuminate. On the back of the remote, press and hold the pair button. The pair button will illuminate with a blue light and start to flash. Continue to hold the pair button until the illuminated light on the battery backup box goes out. Release the pair button. The remote is now paired to the adjustable base. If you are installing two bases that need to be synced, such as a split king, a sync cord is included with the base. Note that it will not be included with the queen, full, or full long bases. The sync cord connects the two control boxes to a single remote for a synchronization of two bases. First, unplug the bases from the power source. Disconnect the battery backup box cable from each control box or a splitter cable. Make note where the cable is plugged in. Connect the male end of each sync cord to the control box. Insert it into the same port that you disconnected the battery backup box from in step two. Connect each battery backup box male connection to the sync cord female connection and plug the bases back into the power source. Check to make sure that all cords are securely attached before testing the remote. If bases become mismatched, pressing the flat button will resync the mechanical positions. Next, install the mattress retainer bar. Slide the left side of the mattress retainer bar into the bracket. 
pull the retainer bar to the opposite bracket and secure the right side. If installing a split king, repeat these steps for a second base. Although you can leave the battery backup box plugged in, we recommend that the customer store the battery box in a convenient location for emergency use. They will need to supply their own 9 volt batteries, which should only be used in a scenario where the base is stuck in an articulated position, such as during a power outage. Do not mix brand name batteries. If the battery backup box is plugged in with the batteries installed during normal operation, the base will drain the batteries after several articulations. Thanks for watching.